Hello everyone, it's Ruby here once again and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be talking about 10 things, 10 things that I want to share to you about New Zealand. A little background i have been in new zealand in the last 10 years and i think it's safe to say that i have been in the country long enough and i have seen well enough um to talk about these things and by the way if you are new here welcome and please do not leave without subscribing to my channel and hit the notification bell so you will be notified of my upcoming uploads so without further ado let's get into my list of 10 things that i want you to know about new zealand let's begin number one um I have my list in here so <laughs> I won't forget that thing so number one it's okay to walk barefoot in New Zealand yes you heard it right um, you will see people in the mall in the park in the streets all walks of life all ages you can see them without any footwear and it's okay um, when i first came in here i was like oh wow fascinated you know because you seldom see it um, back home in the philippines in the malls you, you seldom see people without any footwear and you will be looked at if um <laughs> yeah that's back home but in here it's definitely fine number two in new zealand they use different names for different things um like everyday things for example, um, a shop in the corner, they call it a dairy. In the Philippines, we call it a convenience store. Um, also, chili bin, that's a cooler. They call slippers jandals or thongs. Um, yeah, jandals, that's a slipper. Um, when they say let's go swimming don't forget to bring your togs togs is actually your swimwear and capsicum that's a bell pepper number three new zealand has a very small and slow growing population 2020 the population of new zealand has just hit five million yes five million um when i came here in 2010 the population of new zealand was only 4.3 million and imagine that 10 years has passed it's still at the five million compared to the country where i'm from where, where which is the philippines um, when i left it was about 90 i did my research 92.3 million in 2010 but as of mid 2020 as per data from the un the philippines population already reached 109.5 million so that's how slow growing the population of new zealand is well they joke about it there's a joke about it um that there's more cows and sheep in new zealand than people and that is really true <laughs> okay let's go to number four um kiwis use unique phrases and they have the kiwi slang but that's a totally different i think i will make a video about it i'll ask some of my friends but yeah i still have to ask them by the way um yeah so kiwis have unique phrases for example um they will say and you hear it a lot they will say sweet ass um sweet ass that ate fine or good um then they will say yeah nah that's actually a no um yeah that's acknowledging what you say but the na comes after that means a front no a way of saying 
no and not so rude way i think <laughs> and the last um phrase that you will hear the good old kiwi way of saying she'll be right that means don't worry about it it will be fine don't think too much or yeah something like that number five new zealand is the home of extreme sports and great outdoors and then I will include in this number five, home of the most beautiful towns in the countryside. Yes. So if you are into mountain climbing, like hiking, uh, they call it tramping here, by the way. And if you want to go rec recreational fishing, oh, you will have really a lot of catch. Um, and if you want to see forest or you know things like that like the outdoors new zealand is the place to go um they have protected their environment and kiwis really preserved the natural love and they respect the environment so much that um that's why they preserve the beauty of the forest and the fauna and flora what is this fauna and flora uh, the fauna and flora of this country so yes and extreme sports you can go skiing they go skydiving shut over jets rapid boat rides and trivia the very first commercial bungee jumping in the world is in new zealand and it's still here operating up to this stage it's in it it is in queenstown it's a bridge over a body of water and if you want to jump whichever way you like head first foot first whatever some of them they will use like chairs um they will they, they have all these tricks and that just to you know make it more fun in jumping but it's still the same you just still have to jump <laughs> yeah so that's bungee jumping in new zealand now let's go to number six the coffee coffee culture of new zealand you see it if you go um visit the country and you will go around have a road trip you can see cafes coffee shops and all that everywhere and a lot of tourists and a lot of foreigners may say that the one of the best coffee in the world is in New Zealand and I'm not making that up that is from um, trip advisor <laughs> yeah so the coffee culture in this country you can really see it and even when they invite you to lunch or something most of the time you will hear them say oh maybe we can go out for coffee one of these days so it could mean more than coffee but yeah that's how they will invite you out <laughs> yeah okay and let's go to number number seven in new zealand you barely see people using cash so it's like a cashless society um we have a card it's from the bank whichever bank you're with they call it um an fpos um fpos stands for electronic fund transfer at point of sale so when you go buy something you just use this card and especially now that we the government encourage contactless um, transactions so we use paywave so you just go to the counter tap your card you can barely see people using cash in this country and even me i can't even remember when was the last time i used cash and that leads me to my number eight it's a more serious one um you get earthquakes all of the time in new zealand and yes that's part of um like our civil defense 
our uh, workplace awareness you know you have to have earthquake drills you have to know what to do it's part of like an everyday thing here in New Zealand you have to be prepared for earthquakes all the time and that's one thing that you need to read more about and discuss with your family your like the civil defense um areas where to go what to do and stuff like that that's really part of everyday thing here um health and safety wise um yes and then that leads me to my number nine number nine you can get four seasons in one day in new zealand um just like today i woke up it was sunny it was bright but then I, when i went out it was a bit cold and chilly that's why i have my warmer um and then now it started to look cloudy so you can see it's springtime here now so we're expecting warmer days and more sunny days but two or three days ago it was raining hard like the whole day so that's why when you come here for a visit and if you plan to go around you have to have at least a raincoat a warm jacket and an umbrella with you you have to be ready for all the seasons <laughs> even if you come in here in summertime you have to be ready and you have to have that something in your car or in your caravan just in case you know stuff yes especially if you're going out you have to bring something that will protect you from the elements of the season and we're down to our number 10 the last but not the least New Zealand is the home to the most laid-back, friendly, and kindest people I know. Um, personally, uh, my experience in New Zealand has been really fantastic since day one. Um, they are so friendly and warm and welcoming. Um, I haven't experienced any... You know, because coming from a different country, from a different culture, you have that reservation in you that you you will feel scared at first. But then, thankfully and luckily for me, I haven't experienced that here in this country. I've never felt discriminated or never felt, you know, the R word. No, no. They are so kind you know they're generous um they speak to you in a kind manner and in a really respectful manner but yeah i don't know about others but that is my personal experience in this country that's why um i fell in love in new zealand more because of that and yeah i think that's it for my 10 things guys and I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and leave me any comments or suggestions if you want me to do more videos like this just let me know and yeah that's it for today guys hope you enjoy the rest of your morning afternoon wherever you are in the world hope you have a good one and i'll see you on my next video bye